Okay, here's an update on the 28 gallon nano cube. Um, you know, I had troubles before with, I won't mention their name because I'm going to try to give them a chance to make things right. But in any event, this is the third tank. And I had them upgraded to the LED um, just because I, changing the light bulbs are kind of a pain in the ass. And I don't want to do that every year. And the light bulbs cost $40 plus shipping and handling. So, you know, let's say 50 bucks. And at least these LEDs will last quite a while. Um, this tank's been almost up for 24 hours. I put a poly filter in back. There's 35 pounds of live rock from reefsavers.com. I'm sorry, not live rock. It's that reef saver rock, dead rock, if you will. 35 pounds and 40 pounds of that Fiji sand, you know, the wet sand. Um, and I went to the store today. You can see, like in the right hand corner, the bottom and the top, there's kind of like a brownish rock. There's a little bit of coralline on that. You know, I bought like a pound of live rock and just placed it in various places and then took some rubble and threw it back in the filter. And I like this rock, it's very lightweight, it's very porous, and it has tons of holes in it all over for caves and whatnot. Um, the two return pumps seem maybe a little bit weak. I used to have a 24 bow cube in the past and it was a little bit stronger. It was a fresh water, but regardless, I'm digressing. Um, so maybe I'll get like, um, um, you know, a little power head to kind of put in this back corner back here so it can, you know, push and uh, create a little bit more circulation. We'll see about that. Um, but, you know, I like the setup here. A lot of tall rocks in back and uh, kind of slopes down so visually it looks, you know, maybe this middle one right there, maybe I'll adjust that. I don't know. We'll see. You know, you don't really want a big eyesore kind of sticking out right in the middle. and It kind of can distract from your your attention here. Uh, it's not leaning up against the back of the sides. There's enough room to kind of put a a pad down there and kind of clean things. From this view here, you know, you can see there's areas to work through. Um, you know, so we're just kind of waiting for things to cycle. And that is it. This is day one, almost day one.